The time, 3 p.m. The place, Brixton. The date, today. And over there, a typical Englishman. He's reached the crossroads, for after 36 years of cod and chips, peas and chips, and boiled carrots twice on Tuesdays, he's decided to fling discretion to the winds and indulge his jaded palate in an orgy of exotic vegetables. John Bull is on his way to market. Here, two cultures meet, and here, the sturdy English potato rubs shoulders with sweet potatoes, yams, plantains, green peppers, aubergines and chocho. Britain's growing immigrant population is used to having a plentiful supply of, to British tastes, exotic vegetables. At present, almost all our supplies of these vegetables are specially imported from Israel or Holland. And as growing numbers of Britons holiday abroad and experiment with continental foods, so the British palate is undergoing a change. Sweet potato, yam, um, the peppers, all them kind of things, you know. Fine, the foreigners usually like, but British people are going over to it now. A lot of white people, yes, but on the whole, uh, sales in these vegetables here, these Caribbean vegetables, they're slowly descending, slowly dropping. Jamaicans and all that, people from the West Indies are deciding that it's too dear. Friday and Saturday is a busy day, and uh, you get the odd one and t one or two like to try the food out. Uh, two shillings, 25 inches. What that comes from uh, West Africa, right? But they grow yam in it out there, and they eat yam, green bananas, okra, and things like that. You know, okra is a thing that you put in the dinner, you know, liven it up, something like that. In fact, the growing demand for okra, sweet potatoes and chocho is being treated seriously by the Ministry of Agriculture. Scientists are experimenting to see if they can be grown on southeastern farms to satisfy the changing palates of our typical Englishman and his neighbours. Now that our typical Englishman has gathered together all the ingredients for his exotic dinner, he still has problems. How to cook them? Peel them? Chop them? Toss them in a pan of deep fat, or is that chips again? So here you have a selection of Caribbean food and you want to know what to do with them. Well, don't be put off by, by their appearance because they look a bit strange. They're quite simple to prepare. This, for example, is a yam. You simply peel it, chop it into slices, and boil it just as you would an ordinary potato. Green peppers, there isn't a great deal you can do with them. They're very nice, used as garnish. Slice them, cut them into strips, take out the hard core, or you can lop off the top, stuff them with mince, and they're very tasty. Chocho is another vegetable that can be used in the same way. It's very simple to prepare. You cut it down the middle, scoop out the heart, stuff it with mince and bake it and it's very tasty that way otherwise it's just very watery and no taste to it whatsoever sweet potatoes are very nice candied you peel them slice them into rings place them in a buttered tray cover with sugar lemon a little butter you parboil them first then cook them in the oven with the sugar lemon etc and they're very nice to accompany roast pork and dishes of that sort. Green bananas are tasty boiled and creamed like ordinary potatoes. You lop off the top and the bottom, slit them down the middle, take off the skin and cook the inner part. Plantains are really just used fried. I don't know of anything else that's been done with them, but you peel them just like green bananas and you can cut them, slit it, take off the skin and cut them into rings and fry them gently in a little butter. And there you have it. So there you are, typical Englishman. Your illustrious ancestors, Francis Drake, Sir Walter Raleigh, Captain Cook, had adventure on the high seas. And now you also, ever adaptable typical Englishman, can add spice to your life and adventure to your meals.